Hello students, welcome back to the sixth video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number six from October 2024 Pure Mathematics 1 paper. So you know, uh, we are solving the most recent Pure Mathematics 1 paper, which is October 2024 P1 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number six from this latest paper is about so basically the concepts behind this question it's from uh, you can see it's from uh, graphs and transformations that is chapter number four of your pure mathematics one textbook and also in part b you can see we need to ha have idea about uh, equations and inequalities that is just before chapter number four which is chapter number three equations and inequalities uh, from your pure mathematics one textbook so let's get started with question number six okay so at first part a so part a is asking here to sketch the curve c with equation y equals to 1 over 2 minus x where x not equals to 2 that is asymptote isn't it so state on your sketch the equation of the vertical asymptote the coordinates of the intersection of c with the y axis okay we need to sketch this reciprocal curve okay so here they have given us space to sketch this reciprocal curve okay fine 1 over 2 minus x so basically just let's approach it gradually one by one transformation look at first what they have done is that if you consider f of x equals to 1 over x this is basically the initial form of this curve c okay and then what what did they do they just made it to reflect on the what y axis okay because f of negative x means what multiply negative value within the bracket of the function it means reflection on the what y axis right and then what happened and then they what added isn't it 2 minus x they added 2 with that so it became 1 over negative x plus 2 which is 2 minus x that's the scenario okay so for reciprocal curves okay we know that not for reciprocal curves basically for horizontal these are all horizontal transformations and we know that for horizontal transformations always the opposite thing happens right so since the function f of x it has been reflected on the y-axis that is negative 1 has been multiplied within the bracket so opposite thing will not happen in the further transformation okay opposite thing will not happen for the further transformation that means they have added plus 2 that means the sketch the curve f of negative x it will move along the positive x-axis by two units okay but if it was just x plus 2 if it was just x plus 2 that is without any reflection okay then it would be just opposite that means the curve would move in the negative x axis by two units okay because along the x axis always opposite thing happens for transformation but since here the x like negative 1 has been multiplied within the bracket that's why it has been what covered up and that's why the curve will move along the positive x-axis due to this transformation okay so the curve would be like what the vertical asymptote in the in f of x is basically what x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 the horizontal asymptote so since only what horizontal transformation is happening there so the vertical asymptote will get changed because vertical asymptote is represented by the x value and x values are getting changed here so negative x plus 2 the 
curve of f of x will move to the positive x axis by how many units? Two units. So let me take a dotted line. So it will be now here. Okay. This is the vertical asymptote. And then what will be the case? It has been what? At first it has been reflected on the what? Uh, for f of negative x. It was here on the first quadrant, but as it is reflected, it, it, it got it got into the negative x axis. Okay, and then plus two. That means the curve will be like what? This. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So it will be like that. And for the what? Negative for the positive x axis, it will go like what? This. Fine. So the curve will what look like exactly this. So we need to now find out where the curve is intersecting the y axis and the x axis. Okay. Now you might get confused. Why this? Why how does this part comes here? Okay. Good question. Neg f of negative x. Basically the curve okay wait <clears throat> okay so the curve of f of x is basically like this isn't it isn't it like this f of x that is 1 over x this is the curve of 1 over x so when you reflect this on the y axis this part will come here and that part will go there right and then we have moved it towards the positive x-axis by two units. And that's how it is like that. Okay. So now we need to what show the y-intercept where it is passing the y-axis. So this is zero. If you put zero in this equation, you will get what half. So the y-coordinate is what half. Okay. And then the vertical asymptote they say to write the equation for the vertical asymptote which is x equals to 2 done this is basically what the sketch of the given reciprocal curve that's it fine okay next is part b okay in part b they are saying the straight line l has equation y equals to kx minus 4 where k is a constant given that l cuts c at least once how many times at least once okay so part b1 it's asking to show that k squared negative 5k plus 4 greater than or equal 0 okay fine so this straight line l with equation kx minus 4 it intersects the curve C at least once. Okay. So since it is intersecting at least once, so at the point of intersection for part B1, at the point of what? Intersection. What would be what would be? Their y values will be equal because the points of intersection at the common point of the two what curve and the straight line right so uh, in that case what we can write 1 over what 2 minus x would be equal to kx minus what kx minus 4 okay kx minus 4 okay now uh, multiply both sides by 2 minus x so what you will get kx minus 4 times 2 minus x okay so now expand the bracket 2kx minus kx squared negative 8 plus 4x equals what okay take this one to the uh, other side so you'll get negative 1 equals to what 0 so now what we can do Multiply both sides by negative 1 to make it kx squared and then uh, negative 
2k x negative 4 x what negative 8 negative 1 this is negative 9 so it will become positive 9 equals to what 0 okay so what we can do next twice of kx uh, negative kx squared okay fine so now this is a quadratic equation right so make it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c okay so here it will be what we can take x common isn't it you can take x common so if you take x common you will get negative 4 negative twice of k okay x plus 9 equals to 0 okay so we got ax squared plus bx plus c in this form now the question says the two curves are intersecting for at least once that means this equation is what this equation is representing the points of intersection right so the, that means this equation will have at least one root okay so if it has at least one root then we know that if it is at least one root then what b squared minus 4ac the discriminant will be greater than or equal what zero fine so b squared is what uh basically this is negative 4 negative twice of k whole squared negative 4 sc which is 4 k times what 9 equals to what sorry it's not equals to greater than or equal zero so now expand the bracket what you will get 16 plus uh 16 k plus 2 ab 16 k plus 4 k squared k squared okay negative 36 k greater than or equal what zero fine so what we can do next just simplify if you get 4 k squared just simplify you will get 4 k squared negative 36 k plus 16 k that would give you negative 20 k and then here it is plus 16 it is what greater than or equal zero now divide both sides by 4 you will get k squared negative negative 5k plus 4 greater than or equal zero now have a look whether they wanted this inequality or not k squared negative 5k plus 4 greater than or equal zero exactly that's what part b1 has asked for fine okay next is part b2 so here they are asking to find the range of possible values for k that means we need to solve the previous inequality that we found in part b1 okay so fine let's approach for part b2 we need to what solve this inequality so at critical critical values for solving what inequal quadratic inequalities what we consider critical points right okay so here k square negative 5 k plus 4 would be equal to what zero right so uh, is it possible to middle term it uh yeah is it this is possible k minus 4 times k minus 1 what equals to zero fine so we will get either k equals to 4 or k equals to what 1 okay so we got two possible values for k now have a look on the sketch on the right side so on the along the x axis that would be the values for k and along the y axis it would be the value for the equation k squared k squared negative 5k plus 4 okay so it will be a quadratic curve right where it is intersecting the curve intersecting the x-axis at 1 and 4 so it's basically have a minimum turning point because the coefficient of k squared is what positive so it will have minimum turning point right so this is what 4 and this is 1 k equals to 1 okay now look at this inequality this inequality wants the values of k such that the part of this curve that means the y values of this 
expression k square negative 5k plus 4 will be greater than 0. That means we need to focus on the part of this curve that is above the what x axis. This part is above the x axis, isn't it? So this part of the x, uh, this part of the curve will be found for which values of k? For the values of k, what? k less than or equal 1, right? 1 to the left and 4 to the right. There is or it will be or since there is no common between them. So k greater than or equal what? 4. And this, these are the possible range of possible values for k. And that's what exactly part B2 has asked for.